from coast to coast and beyond, people in North America are doing fascinating things to make their cities, towns, and regions more interesting, more successful, and better places to live. Join me, Terry Bradshaw, as I explore all that's new and exciting about the USA and Canada, and what people are doing in order to make a difference. It's an easy way to see what's happening across your own country. Welcome to Today in America. The world we live in has changed. Nowhere are we as safe as we once thought we were, not even within the borders of the United States. There are those who would seek to do us harm in any way they possibly can, and they don't even seem to mind losing their own lives in the process. After such sneak attacks as that perpetrated on the USNS Cole, this country has tightened the security it imposes on shoreline targets. While it is important to erect a visual deterrent, it is vital to have some kind of stopping power against waterborne attacks using small, fast-moving boats. For that kind of protection, the transportation sector and even the United States Navy rely on harbor offshore barriers. Harbor offshore designs, manufactures, and installs high security boat barrier systems based on U.S. Navy boat barrier design technology. We have a reputation for service and boat barrier systems that are more capable, durable, and reliable than any in the world. A terrorist wishes to inflict as much harm as possible on any economic, political, and human targets he can reach. Particularly vulnerable are commercial ports that transport many thousands of people and billions of tons of goods. With thousands of ships arriving and departing from the port, it is especially difficult to filter out the small, malicious craft that might be used in a sneak attack. But Harbor Offshore Barriers can design and install a system to do just that. The first thing we do is talk to the security people to see what their actual concerns are. And then we talk to the ship's captains and ship's pilots to find out uh, how to build a barrier system that's least obtrusive to the uh, ship traffic. Among other possible targets, nuclear power plants are particularly vulnerable. Oil and gas terminals, where the mega tankers tie up to deliver their contents, could also result in a lot of damage. Civil structures such as dams, bridges, and causeways also need protection. Each deployment of a PSB system becomes an engineered solution. Part of that solution is dealing with the environment, the, the marine environment and seawater. One of the things that we were able to do at first in industrial plastics as a team member was to provide HDPE pontoons or floats for the system itself that resist corrosion and work well in a marine application versus the old steel type. It also reduces cost uh, maintenance-wise. Land-based security systems are important to have in place. Fences and gates, electronic surveillance and detection systems, along with patrolling security personnel, all play a vital role. However, landside security measures need to be complemented by waterside protection as well. What these durable boat barrier systems provide is stopping power. After the USS Cole incident, the U.S. Navy did extensive research on readily available materials to introduce a barrier system that would protect against uh, vessel threats. The need for such stringent security was not even foreseen just a few years ago. So the sudden need to reinforce the nation's many access points has meant an unprecedented drain on budgets. Harbor Offshore Barriers endeavors to provide effective waterside protection in the most cost-efficient manner possible. We've been working with the Navy since 2000. And when the USS Cole was attacked in Yemen, the Navy determined that they needed floating security barriers around their facilities worldwide. Since then, we've installed approximately 70% of their systems. Anyone who feels the cost of such protection may be an impediment should simply consider the potential cost of a successful attack. Our experiences with global terrorism over the past decade serve as a powerful example. <music> 